Baba Blast. <laughs> oh, hi, Baba friend. Me and Callie were just reading this book all about trains and railroads. Did you know that the fastest train goes 374 miles per hour? Well, that's really fast. Wow, and the longest railway is almost 6,000 miles long. There's a lot to learn about trains. What's that? I think the blaster wants to take us somewhere. Hmm. Let's see where the blaster has in mind for us to go today. Callie, you stay here and we'll be back in just a little bit. Want to come? Okay, here we go. Whoa! Oh my gosh, we're at the railroad park in Scottsdale, Arizona. Look at that big train behind me. There's so much to do here. I'm not sure where we should start though. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Daryl. Nice to see you. You too. I was just telling my friend here that I love the railroad park and there's so much to do that I don't know where to begin, but I know you will know exactly where to begin because Daryl works here. That's right. So I think you guys should start in our 10,000 square foot model train building. Lots of fun toys and trains in there for you to look at. I love that. 10,000 square feet, toy trains. That sounds so much fun. Thanks for your help, Daryl. All right, have fun. Let's go. I think this is the building that Daryl was telling us about. Let's go in and check out the toy trains. Come on. Here we go, let's go inside. Oh, look at these huge wheels. Those are so big. Let's go see what else there is. Come on. Whoa. They made a really big mountain. And here comes the train. Really fun. It looks like this side of the mountain has a circus on display. Check it out. What animals can you see in the display? I can see a tiger an elephant, I can also see a few clowns. Let's see where the train tracks lead us, come on. Whoa, have you played with Legos at home? Well, this whole section is made out of Legos. It looks like they made an apple orchard. And look at this green city with green buildings. And check out how big all of the train exhibit is. Wow. I'm so excited to see the rest of this place. Come on. I can see the train moving through the mountains. It says Union Pacific. They put clouds on top of this rock. You can even see an airplane flying over it. It takes a lot of work and a lot of people to make sure this whole setup runs smoothly. There are so many fun and hidden surprises throughout this whole exhibit. And I think I found some pretty cool ones in this one. Do you see the dinosaurs in the middle? It looks like there's a Triceratops and a Brontosaurus. I wonder what they're doing in the bottom of that canyon. Hmm. Hey, I just found something. Did you notice this handprint earlier? I just noticed it. I wonder what will happen if I put my hand on that handprint. I bet something's gonna happen in there. Let's find out. Oh, that train just started moving. 
Do you see it in the middle? Oh, it just went behind. It's gonna come around the front. Here it is. There it goes. Up to the top of the canyon. Oh, and it stopped. Very cool, let's go see what else we can find. This is the most toy trains I've ever seen. Look how big this place is. What do you see at the model train exhibit? Buildings, trees, mountains, even some aliens? There's a lot of hidden treasures in this place. There's so much to take care of. Not only the trains that move around this entire track, but also the mountains, landscape, buildings, and more have to be maintained. Every day, a team of volunteers come into this building to help take care of the train track. A volunteer is somebody who gives freely. They can give their time, their labor, or their help for something that they believe in. This looks like a train, but it's actually called a trolley. Say trolley. Pretty good. Now trolleys are really similar to trains, except they run on electricity. Let's go inside. Whoa! Oh! Hi! 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 A boom! A boom! A boom! A boom! Beep, 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 beep! Real! Beep, beep! Oh! The end of the trolley! Hello! That was fun! Let's go back outside and see what else we can go do. Whoa! That was so much fun in there. But I heard that there's a merry-go-round that we get to go on. So let's go find it. We're in line for the carousel. Some people call it a merry-go-round, but you can also call it a carousel. Let's see which horse we get. Hey, it's our friend Daryl. Daryl, I have a ticket to go on the merry-go-round. All right, have fun. All right, let's go, come on. Hmm. I like one of these horses. Should we get in this one right here? All right, let's go. Whoa! We're going up and down and around and around. Go, go, go! Faster, faster, faster! Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! Whoa! 
Well, that was so much fun, but I'm a little dizzy from going around and around so many times. I think since we're at the railroad park, we should go find a real train to ride. And I'd like to learn how trains work. I know just the person to help us. His name's Gary, and he's a real life steam engineer. Let's go find him. We're learning so much about trains today, and Gary said he can show us a real steam locomotive engine. Bring out the locomotive engine! Wow, we get to sit on top of this real steam locomotive engine. Thanks, Gary, for letting us come look at this. How much does this engine weigh? This engine weighs 8,000 pounds. 8,000 pounds? How do you move something that weighs so much? I'm glad you asked. This is a steam engine, so we use steam to pull not only, or energize not only this engine, but to pull many, many cars full of families and children behind it. Cool, where does all this steam come from? Well, we're gonna start back here because in order to make steam, to make this locomotive run, we have to start with water. Oh wow, look in here you guys, there's a whole bunch of water. Wow, I didn't know there was gonna be water in the train. So what happens with this water? So we have to make steam with that water. And in order to do that, we have to have a fire in what's called a boiler. A boiler is very similar to a pot on the stove that you heat up, and once it gets hot enough, you have steam. But we do it a little differently, because once we have steam, we put the steam to work. And nice. when we put it to work, we are, that's what is making the locomotive, steam locomotive run. Has your mom or dad ever made macaroni and cheese in your kitchen? Well, if they did, they probably boiled a big pot of water. And when that water got hot enough, you probably saw steam coming up out of the pot. Well, that's what happens in this steam locomotive engine, and that's what makes the train go. So we know that we put the water in the back of the steam engine. Then that water moves all the way through here where it gets heated up by real fire. And then that water creates steam. The steam moves all the way to the front of the train where it moves the pistons. What happens then, Gary? Well, when the steam goes into the uh, steam cylinders here, the steam then moves this rod and as these rods are moving, they're turning the wheels. And that keeps cycling over and over again. Have you ever wondered what makes the stack go choo, choo, choo? What makes that sound of choo, choo is this steam cylinder exhausting up the stack. And that's how we get a train to move 8,000 pounds and even more when you put people on it. We're gonna ride a train later. Thanks, Gary. The train's coming into the station. Here it comes. Wave to them. This is a big train. Now they're gonna get out of the train and now it's our turn to go on the train. I'm so excited to get on the train. I think it's almost time to leave. We are ready to leave. You're not ready to leave? We are ready to leave, oh. except we have one problem. What's the problem? We don't have a conductor. Mm, shoot. So we're not gonna go on the train ride? Kyle, would you be the conductor on this train? 
Should I be the conductor? Yeah, what do I have to do? You gotta have a conductor's hat and a whistle. All right, well I don't have one on me, but I think I know what can do the trick. Whoa, does this work? Yep, yeah, that's perfect. All right, where should I go as the conductor? Follow me. All right, come on. Would you like? That would be perfect. For you, yep. Here we are, we get to sit in the back of the train. And do you know what the back of the train is called? That's right, it's called a caboose. All right, well as the conductor, I'm supposed to yell all aboard. So here we go. All aboard! All the people are coming, we're about to leave. There's so much to see here at the railroad park, and this train ride is a perfect way to see everything the railroad park has to offer. Look at all the families playing at the playground. We'll go there later. We just started the train ride, and it's so fun. We've seen playgrounds, we've gone over bridges, and I think at the end of the train ride, there's a tunnel we get to go through. All the cars are waving to us, let's wave back. Look to the right. That's the tunnel we're gonna go through in just a little bit. Ooh, it looks dark. If you listen really closely, you can hear the train whistle all the way up at the front of the train. That's letting other people know that we're coming, we're coming. Trains are one of the oldest forms of transportation. We've been using trains for more than 200 years. Isn't it cool that today we still have trains that we can go and ride on? The tunnel's coming up, and that means it's gonna go from really sunny to really dark. Here it comes, look, the tunnel.
And even though it was dark, it wasn't scary at all. It was just fun. Oh look, we're back at the station where we started. I see Daryl. It's our friend Daryl. The train ride's over and I had so much fun. I hope you had fun too. But there's so much more to see here at the railroad park. So let's go to our next location. Come on. We're at our next location and it's inside a real train. Look at all this old luggage behind us. Looks like somebody's ready for their trip. All aboard. Oh, and hey, this mannequin is wearing a conductor hat just like the one I was wearing. Pretty cool. Can we go see more of your train? Oh, well, of yes, of course you can. All right, thank you. Let's go see what's on this train. Come on. It gets pretty tight in here. Come on. On trains, they have kitchens, but they're really, really small. Look at this one. You can see more of the kitchen over here. And this is where the people ate and rode the train. Take a look. Wow. And this one's set up for a bigger dinner or lunch, or maybe even a breakfast. There's more to see down here. Come on, let's go. This is where people sleep on a train. And this is where people sit and maybe they read or have a cool conversation with their friend. Take a look. Now I've seen some pretty small showers, but I haven't ever seen a shower that small. Look at this. And finally, at the end, we have all of this space, a common area for people to take a seat and relax. Ah, I think I like being on trains, but I also like to play. And there's a really cool place to play here at the railroad park. Come on, I wanna show you. We made it to the playground! Oh yeah, oh yeah.
Should I jump? Okay. Whoa! I did it! Oh yeah! Well, playing on that playground is really fun, but I'm getting a little tired, and I think it's almost time to go back home. But before we do, let's go stop at the gift shop and pick something special out so we can remember this day forever! Come on. Let's go into the gift shop. We made it to the gift shop. Now we gotta find something really special so we can remember this day forever! Hey, I just found a whole bunch of miniature trains. That would be perfect! Hmm, which one should we pick? I like this blue one, and I like the red one, and I like the white one, and the yellow one. Hey, those are all the colors in my shirt. They would all be perfect. So should we go with yellow, white, blue, or red? Yeah, I think we should go with red. Haha, <laughs> this guy is gonna be so cool to play with at home. Ooh, it was so much fun hanging out with you at the railroad park here in Scottsdale, Arizona. I hope you had a bye-bye blast and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>